Good day guys! So we're here again for another QCAD tutorial. Uh, for this tutorial, we will be learning how to use some of the modification tools. The modification tools looks like this. It will provide you with different modification tools. So you have here copy, uh, rotate. It's also the same as copy but in a, a rotational direction. You have a scale, you have mirror, and more. But for this particular tutorial, uh, we will be learning how to use the move and the uh, rotate. So for the move, the first step is to select the entity that you want to move or copy. So for instance, I have this uh, pole uh, object here. So I will simply copy all of them by using uh, box selection. And then once you do that, you will notice that the tools will now be enabled. So if I select the move copy tool, it will require you to input a reference point. So let's say I will use this point here at the very bottom portion as the reference point. Then from there, you should place the copy view any location that you would want. So for instance, if I place it here, then once you do that, the move copy options will now appear. So here you can either just have one copy by selecting the keep original. So you retain the original one and then the copy will appear. Or you can even have multiple copies. For multiple copies, you simply have to input how many copies of that object that you want to have. For instance, let's say I'll choose four. Then when you press OK, you should be able to see that there are four copies of the original object. So it's a very convenient tool to use, especially if you're going to create multiple copies of objects in a certain pattern or in a certain arrangement. Now you have to take note that when you do the copy tool, it will always follow the path or the line that you created. So for instance, if this is the first point that I selected as the a reference point and then this is my target point then the, the line that is projected there will be the path for the copy so for in, so for example if i do it like this and then again uh, multiples of four you will notice that it will copy it in this manner just like that So for instance, if you want to copy it in a vertical direction, then you just simply need to get a reference point and make sure that the, the target point or the second reference will be in a vertical uh, direction. So that's the copy. Let's now try to do the rotate. So next we will do the rotate or copy in a you know circular pattern. So again, you select the modification tool and this is the rotate icon. So what you do is uh, you have to first select the entities that you want to copy. So for this case, I have a wheel here with a hub and I have one spoke. So I want to have this spoke portion uh, replicated and then place it surrounding the entire wheel. So I simply have to select these entities here. Then from there, I can now select the rotate uh, tool. Once you do that, the next thing that you have to do is to select for the center point. So the center will be the center of the wheel. Then from here, your rotate options will appear. So you have to input here how many copies that you want to have. So let's say we will have five. And then here, you have to input the angle. So if I want to have the entire 360 filled up, then I have to simply have to, uh, calculate it, what will be the angle when there will be five entities or five copies. So you could like simply place the calculated angle here, but one of the convenient uh, options or features of QCode is that you can simply place 360 divided by five. Once you do that, you click OK, you will notice that the copy will immediately appear. There, so one, two, three, four, five, just like that. So for today, that's it. Uh, I will see you on the next tutorial. Thank you.